Hey guys, welcome to Restorebin. My name is Kushal and in this video we are going to see how to set up the Redis object cache to optimize WordPress database usage. Whenever a user access our website or a blog, the WordPress blog, it will send a request to MySQL server and then the request is served from the server back to the user. So what object cache does is it will store that output of that particular query and store it in a cache and whenever suppose say other user has accessed the same post or same article then instead of hitting the mysql server what it does is it will serve the request from the object cache hence this will eliminate the one round trip of going back to the mysql server and enhances the server response time as well as the site speed so i already written an article on this which you can refer details about all the things that we are going to cover in this video so what we are going to see in this video is how to install the redis server how to configure the redis server we are going to set up a redis object cache for wordpress and how to monitor the redis object cache so without further ado let's get started so first of all we are going to install the redis server so i already have my ssh connection open so let's first update the repository the apt repository next we are going to install the uh, redis server as well as uh, PHP 7.3 Redis module which would be used for processing so this command will install both so once the Redis server is installed let's configure using the nano editor so there are two things that we are going to change one is the RAM max memory which is the amount of memory RAM memory that should be used for caching and the second thing is the max memory policy which forces the old keys to delete and use it from first so what we need to do is we need to just copy these lines and paste it in our configuration file so you can paste it anywhere so let me just paste it here now next thing that we need to change is the uh, now next thing that we need to change is to comment out these save files so what these rules say is that instead of using the hard disk for caching we would be using the ram so if we comment out this three rules then redis will be using our ram memory instead of hard disk memory so this rules will be already there in our configuration file all we need to do is we need to just comment it out so here you can see those three rules which are not commented out so what we need to do is we need to just add a pound symbol in front of it so now that we have made the changes in our configuration file let's close this file and save it next we need to restart our redis server as well as we need to restart the php 7.3 fpm server so run this command one after the other and php server so a redis server has been set up now now next we are going to set up the redis object cache for our wordpress so what we need to do is we need to install a plugin redis object cache by tilcrus it's the same uh, developer who has developed the nginx cache plugin that we used in our previous video so let's log in into our dashboard navigate to dashboard let me drag this add new and search for redis object cache so redis object cache by tilcrus so install this plugin and activate so once it's activated you can go to settings and under settings you will have this new sub menu which is redis now just click on this button to enable the object cache so object cache has been enabled so there are no other settings that we need to do this plugin take care of all the settings that need to be done at the wordpress side and uh, our object cache is now ready so now let's test our object cache so we can monitor the redis object cache by running this command in our ssh copy paste enter so this will output the real time actions that we take on our website so let me just click on something call something else so you can see whenever i'm clicking on something actions are being monitored in the real time so that means our redis object cache is working fine so that's all in this video let me know if you guys have any questions or comments thanks guys cheers have a great day bye bye